So now we're going to look at how you convert from meters per second to kilometers per hour and vice versa, right? So let's say you wanted to convert um, 25 meters per second to kilometers per hour. There are many different ways it can be done and you already know how to do this. You would multiply times 3.6, right? That's a long and short of it. But why is it that you multiply times 3.6? Well, let's look at a strategy of doing these conversions that works no matter what the units are. So let's say we have 25 meters per second, right? And we want to convert that to kilometers per hour, right? We want to get kilometers per hour as our final units. How we do this is we multiply by one. The trick in mathematics that works wonders. What do I mean by it's a trick in mathematics that works wonders? Well, the good thing about one is that it is anything of equivalent value divided by itself. So five divided by five is one. Pi divided by pi is one. Anything that is of equivalent value divided by itself is one. So here, when I look at this, I want to have kilometers divided by hours. So that means when I do this multiplication, I need meters and seconds to cancel out. How do I get those meters and seconds to cancel out? Well, I say one kilometer is equal to what in meters? Well, kilo means a thousand, so one kilometer is one thousand meters. That way, the meters here and the meters there will cancel out and the value hasn't changed because one kilometer is equivalent in value to 1,000 meters. So I'm just multiplying times one. I haven't changed the value of anything. Next, I want the seconds to cancel out. So how can I get the seconds to cancel out? I will say one hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. Where does 3,600 come from? Well, how many seconds are in a minute? That is 60. How many minutes are in an hour? That is also 60. If I multiply 60 seconds in a minute times 60 minutes in an hour, then that gives me 3,600 seconds. So when I do that, here, the seconds will cancel out as well. And I'm left with the units of hours. Now, when I look at these two values in particular, I am doing what to the 25? I am multiplying 25 times 3,600, but I am dividing it by 1,000. But if I multiply 3,600 and then divide by 1,000, what am I really doing? Well, if I take 3,600 and then divide it by 1,000, I am actually just multiplying by 3.6. See, that's where this multiply times 3.6 rule came from that I told you girls about. It's 3,600 divided by 1,000, which is 3.6. So 25 times 3.6 gives us 90. So that is 90 kilometers per hour. And it's easy to see that whenever you do it in the opposite way, then you would divide by 3.6 instead. So, let's say you wanted to do some other kind of conversion, such as converting 250,000 centimeters per minute to kilometers per day, right? So let's say you know you have um, a rocket that is traveling at 250,000 centimeters per minute and you wanna know how many kilometers they will travel every day. How do we go about doing that? Well, first we write the 250,000 centimeters per minute. Then we multiply that by two fractions that are both equal to one. So the first fraction 
we will multiply it such that we get rid of the centimeters. The second fraction, we will multiply it such that we get rid of the minutes. When we do so, we'll be left with kilometers and we'll be left with days. Right? So, next, you need to know how many kilometers make up a centimeter. So, one kilometer is how many centimeters? How do we figure that out? You could simply look it up on the internet, it's there for you to see, but you should also be able to do it without that. What does kilo mean again? It means a thousand. What does centi mean? It means a hundred. What's a good little way to remember what centi means? Well, how many cents are in a dollar? A hundred cents. How many legs does a centipede have? Well, not exactly a hundred, but a hundred you could say. That's exactly what the word centipede means. Centi means a hundred, peed means foot, so centipede is hundred foot. Ask your parents what they call a centipede. They just call it a hundred foot. Well, if your parents are old, so ask your grandparents instead, right? So, one kilometer is a hundred thousand centimeters. Next, how many minutes are in a day? Right? In one single day. Well, let's see. How many minutes are in an hour? That would be 60. How many hours are in a day? That would be 24. So you could say 60 times 24 minutes are in a day. You could multiply that out if you wish, but it's fine if you leave it at 60 times 24. When we're working now then, what will happen? Our centimeters are gonna cancel out our minutes are going to cancel out and we're left with kilometers per day, which is what we want to find. Then the next thing to do is just simply to multiply out this. So we're going to divide by 100,000. I can just say, oh, divide by 100,000. This is 250,000. So if I divide by 100,000, that's 2.5. And I'm left with 2.5 times 60 times 24. And 2.5 times 60 times 24 gives me 3,600. So 3,600 kilometers is how far that rocket ship would travel in a day. 3,600 kilometers every day. That's equivalent to 250,000 centimeters every minute. So with that then girls, you now know how to convert between any unit of velocity, whether it be per year, per day, per meters, per hour, per, hour, per second, 